Hello friends, welcome back to Smriti Notes for Biotechnology. In today's video, we will study about enzyme engineering and application of some enzymes. So let's start with enzyme engineering. It means improvement in the activity and usefulness of an existing enzyme or creating a new enzyme activity by making suitable changes in its amino acid sequence. That means we are altering a existing enzyme or creating a new enzyme by altering the amino acid sequence. Enzymes are proteins and the main objective of enzyme engineering is to improve their kinetic property, elimination of allosteric regulation, enhance substrate and reaction specificity, increase thermostability or increase or decrease the optimal temperature. The structure and function of an enzyme molecule is mainly determined by the amino acid sequence that is the primary structure. Any change in properties of enzyme will be refuted in the primary structure. Now let's have a look at the flow chart how enzyme engineering takes place. The very first step is the isolation of the concerned enzyme and the determination of its structure and the properties. Both amino acid sequence and 3D structure are obtained from X-ray diffraction. Now the data is analyzed on database molecular is done to determine the possible changes in amino acid sequence for desired improvement. Now we construct a gene that will uh, encode the amino acid sequence. After it is constructed, now it is expressed in suitable host example E. coli. Now the mutant produced is isolated and purified for determination of its structure and property. So now the very first step was gene expression, enzyme purification, then the determination of enzymes by using database and then finally the gene construction using molecular modeling. Now let's have a look at the application of some enzyme. The very first one is Naran Genase. It is an enzyme complex. It is commercially attractive due to its potential usefulness in pharmaceutical and food industry. It is used for biotransformation of steroids, antibodies and mainly of glycosidic hydrolysis. Its main application is in debittering of citrus juice. Naranginase exists in two forms that is alpha and beta D glucositase. Naranginase is a great antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and anticolor effects. It is explored in Aspergillus nigger. It is used for the preparation of antibodies, biotransformation of steroids and the production of glycolipids. Now let's study about the application in detail. That is the bitterness of some fruit juices, orange, grape, fruit is undesirable quality. That means when narginase concentration is higher than 20 mg per milliliter, then the bitter taste is detected. And it is also used to improve the aroma of wine and tomato pulp preparation. Now the next enzyme is amylase. Amylase is a starch degrading enzyme which is capable of hydrolyzing alpha-1,4 glycosidic bonds of polysaccharide. It results in the formation of short chain dextrin. Its applications are it is used in baking, brewing industry, starch liquefaction, baking industry as flavor enhancement and improves the bread quality. During baking, alpha amylase are added to dough for conversion of starch to smaller dextrin which are fermented by yeast that improves the taste, crust, color of the bread. And it is used for starch liquefaction that is gelatinization, liquefaction and sacrification. So now the next type of enzyme is protease. It is used to catalyze the hydrolysis of peptide bond present in proteins and polypeptides. It is used in detergent and pharmaceutical industries. It is of two types that is exopeptidase and endopeptidase. It is useful catalyst for peeling of leather as well. It is used to improve the flavor, nutritional value, solubility and digestibility of food proteins. It is also used in baking industry for production of bread and waffles. Acid fungal protease is used in improving fermentation of beer. All these applications are very important. Now the next enzyme is lipase. It catalyzes the hydrolysis of long chain triglycerides present in stomach and pancreas to digest fats and lipids. 
It is produced by bacteria, fungi and yeast. In food industry, it can be used in baking, dairy, beer, beer and wine. Almost the applications are same for baking, dairy, beer and wine. They can improve the characteristics of flavor of cheese by acting on milk fats. Different types of cheese can be made like Romeo cheese. Also used for the production of ice creams and the treatment of wastewater. Next is pectinase. It catalyzes hydrolysis of glycosidic bond in pectic polymers. Pectic substances found are tomato, orange, pineapple and etc. Industrial application is it is used in paper bleaching. Food application juices with added pectinase have clearer appearance and filterability. It increases the viscosity and turbidity of juices and also helps in keeping the fragrance. Enzymatic hydrolysis and enzyme-based process are preferred due to environment-friendly nature. It also has a wide application in medicine, that is, it includes killing disease-causing microorganisms, promoting wound healing and diagnosing a disease, collagenase-treated skin disease, that is, ulcer, Prolactoenzyme that cre- cre- treats lactose intolerance. Enzymes can be used for aiding digestion, that is amylase, protease, and lipase. Amylase act as softening agent for starched clothes. Enzyme act as surface disinfectant like trypsin, and act as anti clotting agent like thrombocyte. These all are some other important applications. Learn the applications nicely. These are very important. I hope this video was useful for you guys. If you like the video, then do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.